Hi everyone, for this CBCT scan, I want you to determine where the primary area of concern is. So I'm going to tap the axial view and scroll through the volume from the superior end to the inferior end of the volume. So this is, uh, we're at the level of the heart palate. You're seeing maxillary sinuses bilaterally. Uh, these opacities that are not as dense as the bones suggestive of, or can you guys guess what this is? These are turbinates. And if you've answered that correctly, what are these wing-like projections that are extending posteriorly from the posterior part of the maxillary sinus? what is it okay if you think you know the answer please write down the answer in the comment section below now I'm going to continue to scroll downwards and from previous video we've identified nasopalatine foramen or the canal right now we're going to the mandibular arch Did you guys see a pathology? Let's give it another try. Okay, that's the end of the volume. So did you guys see it? If you've said mandible, you are correct. So where in the mandible did you guys see? If you didn't see it, that's okay. Let me go to the mandibular arch and I want you to see it for one last time. I'm gonna go slowly, it's very important that you s are able to see these. Okay, it's pretty definitive at this point. You should be able to see that right now. If you don't, well, you need to keep watching my videos, okay? Okay, how about now? Anywhere that you guys might be worried? I hope so. <laughs> well, at least Hopefully most of you have recognized that there is an unusual pattern of trabecular bone at this area. Okay, right here. If you look at the remainder of the arch, we see a well delineated cortical bone and uh, cor lingual cortical bone as well as buccal cortical bone and trabecular bone that's in between the two plates. But you come over here and it's entirely sclerotic and dense, right? And not only that, you see a kind of mixed density appearance as I scroll through the volume. You see some opaque area and loosened area and that looks a little interesting, doesn't it? So now, why don't we take a look at this area once again on the coronal view? So let me start from the front end and go posteriorly. Look at the, the tr dense trabecular bone. However, there's not much, there's no evidence of expansion of the ridge, right? The overall dimension of the ridge is maintained the same, however, it's very sclerotic and dense. Again,
we are going to take a look at this opacity more carefully. So in order to do that, I'm going to bring back my crosshair and rotate the volume in such fashion. And look at this view. Okay. This slice is, is a little too thick, so each time I move, I'm like getting out of the lesion basically. But this is pretty rep representative. Um, this number, let's see, I have, I think it's 29. And um, right at the apex of 29, you have this well defined opacity. Homogeneous radio opacity surrounded by a radiolucent ring, and um, if you look at the crown, there's no major restoration. And I know for, uh, for the fact that this patient is asymptomatic. That's what the clinician provided me with. And so, given the fact the patient is asymptomatic and the tooth um, tests normal clinically to percussion and um, vitality testing everything is normal yet we have this opaque opacity surrounded by a radiolucent rim and with another area of a sclerosis or a dense opaque area what is your differential diagnosis for this entity let me see if I can scroll through the volume with a more fine increment So what is this opacity? Patient is asymptomatic and this is a middle-aged female. It may or may not be helpful for you, but what would you say this is? If you have an idea, write down your differential diagnosis in the comment section below. Thank you very much. See you guys later. Bye.